Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 41st tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about the continue statement. The continue statement is similar to the break statement and what I mean by that is it too allows you to get out of loops. And uh, the difference between break and continue is that break gets you completely out of the loop and it takes you to the first statement after the body of the loop whereas the continue statement allows you to skip a particular iteration of the loop or a few iterations of the loop and uh, it gets you back to the starting point of the loop. And uh, I'm going to create a very simple program and through that program I'm going to try to explain the difference between break and continue and I hope that by the end of this uh, you know, tutorial you would have a fair bit of understanding of how break and continue are different from each other and the difference is pretty easy to understand so we won't have much trouble. So as you can see using code blocks, I've saved a file, I've uh, named it continue.c and on, one, on, on line 1 in this file I have my header file, on line 2 I have the main function and I also have my curly braces in place so between the braces we're going to type in the code and uh, instead of using the while loop in this tutorial I'm going to use the for loop and uh, it's not that you cannot use continue with the while loop but it you know it would just be a little bit more easier for me to explain things using for so that's why I'm going to use for so let me declare my control variable first and uh, I'm going to call it uh, a and uh, I'll initialize it inside the for statement so I'll give it an initial value 1 and my test condition for the loop is going to be a less than 10 so same as the previous tutorial and I'm going to have my increment statement as a part of the for statement and in the body of for let me type printf and within double quotes let me type a is and then colon and the percentage d format specifier and the new line escape sequence the second double quotation mark I'll put in a comma and then type in the name of the control variable which is a so semicolon at the end save to file click on the run and there you go you see nine sta statements sentences in the output window a is one a is two a is three up to a is nine now what if i want all these statements to appear except the statement a is five that is for one particular iteration of the loop i want the printf statement to not be executed how is that possible we cannot use break because if you would use break then uh, you know if suppose i have uh, an if statement that checks whether the value of a is 5 or not and if it is 5 then it breaks out but if you would use break then we would break completely out of the loop and we won't be able to execute the remaining iterations but that's not what we want we want to skip just one iteration and for that you have to use the continue statement so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have if statement of course and I'm going to check whether the value of a is 5 or not but instead of using break I'm going to type in continue and then put in a semicolon so the syntax is uh, similar to that of break you just have to type in the keyword continue and put a semicolon at the end and uh, this will do it so I save the file and when I click on build and run you would see that I get a is 1, a is 2, a is 3, a is 4 but I don't see the sentence a is 5 on screen so when a equals 5 we basically haven't executed the printf statement Right, so that's what we've done and um, that's it that's all I wanted to get across uh, through this tutorial and uh, break and continue are very 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 important uh, keywords and we will be using these statements a lot in the coming tutorials so you know I hope you guys have uh, understood the difference between the two statements and uh, I'm going to see you in the next tutorial in which we'll discuss something interesting and important for sure so stay tuned for updates and please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and uh, thank you so much for watching this one. Uh, see you soon.